Gloria, is it too much to ask for some ice? Right away, Mr. Sloan. Craig, please. Good son, Colin. Craig. Thank you very much. It said on the radio... Did it say the common criminals were occupying my plant? Because that's the truth. Well, what can you do? Is Robert in there with them? I didn't yes. see him come out. I told Abe months ago to make sure your Good. boy didn't get mixed up with those people, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Craig says they should have the injunction issued by noon tomorrow. Noon? Well, why not next week? The why the hell do they need one anyway? And the sheriff will serve it. Be because we are not like these people. We respect the law. And what if they still don't come out? That's up to the police. How could you let Robert get mixed up with these radicals? He has a mind of his own. Well, you better change it for him. Go in there and tell him to get out. Um, I'm not sure Robert will do what I say, but I'm willing to talk to him. This is all the handiwork of that damn now con. Who told you where I was? No one. Why did you just leave without telling me you were leaving? I understood you to have decided against marriage. Since when does one little fight mean we're calling it off? Who says I decided anything? We were talking. Things were still under discussion. Nobody negotiates anymore. I'm not angry at you. Well, you're the only person in the state of Ohio who isn't. I mean to say that I understand full well why you wouldn't want to sign that paper. And I no more want you... Before Stop! You... Give me a chance. I don't interrupt as well as you do. I no more want you to act against your conscience and you would want me to act against mine. Which is what being married outside the church would be for me. I can't give up my faith. And when you think about it, you wouldn't want me to. Without it, I wouldn't be the same person that you fell in love with. And neither would you be the same man I fell in love with if you... if you caved in on this negotiation. Beautiful. And philosophical, too. Don't make me self-conscious. You realize we're not getting married because we love each other. Does that make sense to you? Yes. I had a feeling it might. I'll sign the paper. You can't. Don't tell me I can't. Right now, this contract is still under negotiation, and this is my counterproposal. I sign the paper. I agree that this baby gets a Catholic education, but when that kid is old enough to ask questions, I answer him honestly. I never lie. Don't ask me to lie. It's too difficult. I tell my child exactly what I believe. That compromise is a good compromise. That's it. Pension fund, paid sick leave, and the 20% wage increase. We came down to 15 last time we talked to them. You said they never read the proposal. Following conditions must be met by the management of Sloan Industries before the sit-down strike will end first. Sounds good to me. Start calling the radio stations. We broke out the windows. What do we do next? Who told you to break windows? You said break out the windows on the catwalk. I said take out the windows. Lord! Somebody's coming! Who is it? Can you tell? It's a colored man waving a white flag. He's the slowest driver. They expect goons, they send coons. Shut up. Let him in. Can we see if he's carrying a weapon? No, he won't have a weapon. How it's over, Robert? What are you doing here? It's dangerous. How are you? So far, so good. Ooh, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Sloans and your mother asked me to come here. You say the Sloans and my mother in the same breath? <laughs> Truth is, I don't like seeing you in here. Dad, don't ask me to leave. 
I didn't like seeing you off the war either, but I knew you had to go. And I was proud of your service in the Army. <laughs> Even though every minute you were away, I was afraid. I'm proud of you being in here. Whoa. Watch out! He's got a gun! Tend to stay. I like to sit a while so that they think we discuss this very seriously. <laughs> I will tell them, though, that you are a very stubborn young man, which is the truth, as we both know. I wonder where I got that from. From your mother. <laughs> It's possible when Father Carrier finds out that I'm having a baby, he'll refuse to marry us. A what? Or he'll delay the wedding. I'm having a heart attack. I'm gonna die right here and now. How could he possibly say no after all I've agreed to? He might conclude that we're entering into the sacrament for the wrong reasons, therefore... Uh Don't joke like that. I said he might conclude that. If he won't marry us, we find a priest who will. That's not the way we do things. <sighs> Your church makes General Motors look like a bunch of patsies. I think that is a compliment. It's not. It is. Uh, I said it. I ought to know whether it's a compliment or not, and it isn't. You're getting upset again. Would you like a cup of coffee? <laughs> this negotiation has been characterized by management's unwillingness. Slow down, slow down. Management's unwillingness to bargain in good faith. In good faith and... That's it. That's it. Can you persuade them to read it on the air? I don't have to persuade anyone. Hang on. WRIQ, voice of River Run. I'll pass on your request. I don't have to persuade anyone. I just have to type it up and put it with the wire service copy. He's so stupid, he never knows what he's reading anyway. Ginger thinks a million. Fight me if I pull this off. <sighs> Bye. Hammer and Hank Greenberg homered again today for Detroit. The Tigers 9 to 1 selection of the Chicago White Sox. Meanwhile, in New York, Yankee pitcher Spud Chandler threw a three hit shutout against the Red Sox. New York 2, Boston nothing. And the Indians picked up another victory today, beating the Washington Senators 6-3 behind the strong pitching of Bob Feller and the hitting of rookie sensation Jeff Med. You're talking about Jeff. Oh, you paying attention? Shh. Oh, darn. Dozen wildcat strikes currently across Ohio, including at factories in Youngstown, Elyria, Lorraine, Cleveland, Finley, River Run, Toledo, and Akron. Did he say River Run? I think so. Do you think they went out?